In Christianity, we believe in the Father, Son, and the Spirit, right? But Suraj doesn't get that. That's fine. Keep going. Suraj doesn't understand, right, that um, the, the the human body of Jesus, right, and the divine person of the Son aren't two completely separate things. That's why he always asks the question: Can God have a God? We believe that Jesus Christ is the Word of God, simply in the form of flesh. That's all. So it's not different from the world. That's, that's all. Same. John one. John one. That's a lie. Do you know why? It says in the beginning. Let me explain. John one. I explained to him. Do you speak Greek, by the way? Listen. It says John one one. Yes. yes. In the beginning there was a word, and yes. the word was with God, and the word. Was God. God. No, was no, God. no, no, was God. Okay, calm let down. Me give you. Calm it's down. the same as in the beginning there was a car. The car was with a car and the car was became a car. Guess what? It says in the beginning there's a life. And guess what? It goes against Genesis 1-1. One, one. It says what? In the beginning. God created heaven and earth. Where is the word? In the beginning. Let us beginning, make man in our where was image. That? And the spirits oh, of the of the Lord hovered over the waters. Okay, so even in the Christian story, you have multiple persons involved Christians in creation. Know better than prophets of the Bible. The prophets of the Bible practice like You God's skipped it all again. Is the God of Moses God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? So, no. Did he worship the Son? Did he worship the Holy Spirit? No. Abraham. Christians, they tried to say. We Christians have Holy Spirit and the Son, the Bible, more than the prophets. Well, so did, did Abraham have a Bible? The prophets are wrong. Did Abraham have a Bible? Are wrong. Did Moses yes. have a Bible? The prophets are wrong. No, he only Moses had the Torah. The five books. Yes, but did he have an entire Moses Bible? Was, did okay, he have a New Testament? I'm asking a single there question. There you go. And who I am knows saying, better, you or Moses? Even, well, very simply, who knows? even back then with Moses, even he understood that there were multiple persons in the Godhead. Because don't forget, he missed the angel of the Lord in the burning bush. And he understands that that's also. Oh God, there you go. I'm done. I'm done. Well, I'm done. All right. Well, Siraj, the improve your understanding. The was with God is a lie. In the beginning, God has no beginning. Guess what? Melchizedek has no beginning, no end. According to Christians, Melchizedek is not God. According to well, Hebrews chapter seven verse three. Because you know the context is he different. He has no end, no beginning, no parents. As no in, genealogy. we don't know where he Jesus went. Has That's what we mean. Has, begin, has a beginning. He says in the beginning. Yes. Does God have a beginning. No, Lie. but the beginning there simply Lie. means in the beginning what of creation. The beginning? That's in all. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Define the beginning then. Let, let me God. hear us. You cannot find in the beginning there was a word in Old Testament. It's a lie, man made. No, that, that, that's, not, that's not true. It's a lie. In the Garden God of Eden, the, the voice of God is described as walking and in the garden. Uh, in in uh, Genesis 15, God the, the Father, word of God took God, Abraham from his tent. The word of God is always there in the Old Testament. Don't worry about it. But you, you wouldn't know. Yes. So, we believe in a three person God. Father, Son, and Spirit, but they are not separate. The Father isn't here, and the Son's here, and the Spirit is here. He wants to talk another way. He said. He, he has a question. We we take it as they share fully in what makes God God. So uh, the Son equals God, the Father equals God, and the Spirit equals God. What makes God? All, all, all the omnis, for example, right? Like God is omnipresent, omnipotent, omnibenevolent, right? Like He is the greatest being that we can think about. That's also what, what, what makes God God. Okay? Siraj, leave him alone. So stop being a little shaitan in his ear. Go away. Right? Enough. Thank you. So, all the omnis. That's just why I would say. So that's why God is the greatest being that we conceive, conceive of. God is all powerful. God is all that stuff. Yes. Okay? So, wait a second. We have Jesus, right? And he was a man. And he died. How does that work? That is something that we call incarnation. So something omniscient and like all powerful and, and eternal taking on a form that is finite to communicate with us. But then he's no longer all powerful. He stays being all powerful, but by taking on the nature of something that is finite, like you and me, that can be killed or born and die, in that way, that's how he can die. But in that instance, the divinity doesn't die. So when he's on the cross, the body, for example, dies. And as, as believers, I'm assuming, we take that as the soul leaving 
the body. Did Jesus die? Yes, so the soul left the physical body of Jesus Christ, right? However, we hold that Jesus is the dies, one. The soul leaves. Get out of here, Saraj. He's lying. Get out of here. So everyone dies, so the spirit does not die. We but hold. This one we die. We so hold, he's right? Lying to say before the crucifixion, Saraj, Jesus was God. unless you want to get back Jesus here and back argue with me, with that movie. take a hike. All right, awesome. So, sorry about that. But essentially, what we then take from this, right, is that we believe that the Son, right, the second person of the Trinity, is the one who keeps reality working. So everything that we see, gravity, magnetism, the trees forming, all that stuff, right, the stars being in the sky and not falling down on us, all of that is maintained by the Son. So if the Son dies on the cross, for example, and that meant that He stopped existing, then reality will end. So, why can't the Father do that? Huh? Why can't the so, father so, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are all responsible for maintaining reality, right? But they are different jobs. No, see, well, so, you can call it that. Well, what we see is that there's like a distinction, right, in the Father, Son, and Spirit. That's how come we can tell that the Father is the Father and not the Son, that the Son is the Son and not the Father, and the spirit of the spirit, and not the father or the spirit, right? In the way that they interact with reality. Oh, so we have distinction, right? Like, like like differences, and that's how we can tell one person of God apart from another person of God. So how do we? How can we tell that the father is not the son, or the son is not the father? or the Spirit is not the Son or the Father. How do we do this? We understand by the actions that each person does. It doesn't make them any less God. They're all still God. But as far as we can tell, there are certain actions that all three persons do, revealed in Scripture, that are unique to them. For example, the Father is the only one who begets. So, uh, who... who uh, you said the father begets. Begets, yes. Oh. So the father is the one who begets, right? Meaning that the father is what we call the uncaused cause, right? The 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 very first person of the Trinity, and from the father, God has sex. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, begetting doesn't only mean having sex. It does in a, in a human concept. Like, like for, for example, you know how we can so as human beings, right? We use human language to describe God. When we say that God is like almighty, right? The word almighty is like an attribution that we can put on God to have an idea of what God is. But that word alone doesn't capture exactly what God is in its totality. Do you agree or not? Yeah. God is almighty, right? Right? But does that word sum up everything about God? Or just no, as a sense of one of the aspects. That's why in Islam, okay. 99 names. Nine, yeah. And so it takes out it's different. Right. Aspects. But the 99 names, right? So Al Rahman is not the entirety of Allah. Yeah. That's a, that's a part. That's yeah, a part it's, 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 it's a part, yes. So okay. You want uh, well, so I, I'm one human being in, in, in one if way. You one, if I gave you one attribute, would that sum you up? Well, you, you could sum up one attribute of me, right? But is that the same as God? Like, because don't forget, Allah is unlike His creation. So in the same way that you can have multiple attributes for one human being, right? And not sum them up. Is it that the same way for Allah or is it different for Allah? That's why we have 99 names for Allah. Okay, and, but a human being can have 180 attributes. So a human being can have 180 attributes, for example, right? That wouldn't mean that they're more than Allah, per se. No, it doesn't mean that Allah only has 99 attributes. Yes, so there, there, could be, there, there could be more in, in my understanding, right? Ask him, is God and clean? Suraj, no, it's God if you want to argue with me, get back here and argue with me. It's God and clean. If you want to interrupt what I'm doing here... I'm just asking, is God and clean? Yes or no, please? If you don't believe Allah is unclean... No, no, believe I believe thing. God is, is clean. But would you believe well, that? Well, I mean... Do you believe yes or no? If Allah descends no, to the lowest heaven to every you, night, asking, right? What if he gets clean? like, I don't know, bird poop on him I'm as it's going you, down? Is that I'm possible? About, <laughs> tell, me about yeah. tell me, is God clean or unclean? Simple answer. God is perfect. Yeah. It's unclean. It's God, clean, God, yes. God is perfect. Okay, so perfect. What, whatever clean. perfect so now, is to you, that's the who Bible God is. says that okay. any man born so, from female Bible So, when it comes is then clean. to Jesus, Jesus Christ, that's the part that like Christians will love. How can you be God then? So, wait, are you still here? Uh, I don't think Jesus is like, No, I'm asking. Yes. No, but I'm wondering. He said God, is, an, God is clean, yes? So, if Siraj, God is are you clean, still here? Jesus was born from his Siraj, mother. if you want to yes. argue, let's so carry on. Be clean? The Bible says like, any man born from a woman is You're just interrupting what I'm doing. So, according to Bible, Jesus is unclean. He cannot be God then. 
Well, actually, John Logically, says that there is no synonym. John chapter 25, verse 4. Not me saying it's your book. But well, you John that. says that there is no sin. Do you believe God in, is in, unclean in or clean? Again, there is no sin in him. There you go. Do you believe God is so ghost? For, for us, cleanliness. Do you believe God is ghost? So, for example, ghost? if you can ghost. only. Is God ghost? Uh, a ghost. 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 Is he yeah. ghost? <laughs> is he? No, no. Well, is he you, ghost? you believe that Allah has body parts, so hey, it depends. You know why? God is ghost. Because they believe Jesus died and he came back. So that makes him a ghost? From death. Death. Only ghost. Hey, he's a ghost. It's God ghost. Um, for, for example, um, in the Quran, so to his point, to, to his point, right, uh, in the Quran, there's an instance where um, uh, um, Allah kills Moses and brings him back. Uh, in, in, in the Quran. Uh, I forgot. He hit him with thunder or lightning. Huh? No. It, well, sure. I, I, yeah, well, I'm not Arabic, so what, what do you want me to do? Can you just hand me the verse? Huh? Sorry. No, 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 Co-eternal, co yes. Okay. So, so, all three co -equal so they're not yes. 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 So are they co-equal? Are they all equal? Yes, 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 yes they are. So, so, what we say is, let me get to it, let me get to it, right? What we mean by co-equal, right? What we mean by this is that, essentially, God, right? So the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are all fully equal to what it means to be God, right? So, uh, no person is less God than the other person. They're all fully share in what it means to be God. That's what we mean. So they're all, um, they're all omnipotent? Yes. And they're all omniscient? Yes. But then how come Jesus is on the final hour? So, that's the incarnation. That's a little bit different. Do you know what the incarnation is? You know, the, I, I, the, well, not went into a man, but took on the human nature of a man, right? So, God the Son appears to us, right, in the form of a man, in the same way that he did, I'll, I'll get you in a second, sorry about that. Uh, uh, the same way that he did as a burning bush, for example, uh, for for a Musa. You need to go and prove that the word used for know there in the Greek was entailing that Christ had no knowledge of the hour. Because in the same way, I can say in the Quran, yeah, yeah, I, I can say in the Quran that Allah is the, is the, is the greatest deceiver or whatever, right? And you say no, it doesn't mean that. It means planner. Would you not? Would you not? And it can also mean the other, but it depends on, upon the upon the upon the, upon the context. That's all. Okay. The argument that you put that just because one argument falls apart doesn't mean suddenly. Okay. Can I make? Can I the the like the concept of God in Christianity doesn't mean that doesn't mean suddenly. Can I make that? Because it confuses people. Can I? Can I make it confuse people? But so does those alive for me at least. Allah is confusing. In Judaism, God is one. I mean, in Christianity, God also one. Because you even mentioned the incarnation before, and you said that Jesus is, uh, uh, what was it, you said that God came in human form? In, in, yeah, in, in so the form of So was Jesus human, right? fully God? Yes, yeah, he right? was, right? And he was fully because, man. Really because, for, for, for example, man, right? Why did he need, why did he leave not, as, not, don't so? fully, fully God, fully man? Right? Well, that's a contradiction, because no, it's God not. is what a human is, and what a man right. is, and what a God is. But, God is God. My, so how do you define God? How do you define him now? Okay. God, is God, God is not dependent upon anything. Okay. But then Jesus was dependent upon his mother. That's okay. a contradiction. That's what I'm so, 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 when we talk about the incarnation, we're not talking about the divinity of Christ coming to earth. We're talking about, for lack of a better term, let's just say the divinity of Christ is now connected to a human nature, right? Like, think about it like, like, like Wi Fi charging or something, right? Like, the, the divine is, is the actual charging, and then the device on it, for example, is like the body of Christ. Right? We do not hold that Christ, while he was on earth, wasn't fully a human being. Because he had to be, the reason being that in the beginning, we had Adam and Eve. And by disobeying God, they tore humanity apart from God by bringing in sin. Now, God has declared it that because there was a man who caused the fall, a man will also redeem humanity. But unfortunately for us, there is no perfect man. So it took literally God himself coming to fix us.
No? So God never stops being up there, right? Because God isn't God isn't isn't locationally based. Like if I asked you, you can just, you give he me? Just, he, just said, he just asked you. Jesus is God. Yeah, yeah. he's down here. Wait, he you, did you did you hear me? <laughs> did you hear me? <laughs> Wait. But did you did you hear me? Right. So. When it comes to who's who's up there, who's down there, right? We unless you want to say this, but I would I wouldn't go there personally. But God is not locationally based. Like, can you give me the coordinates for Allah? Right, great. So in that same way, like I told you with the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi charging, huh? No, but do do you have a do you have a but wait, okay? But do you have a coordinate for Allah? Is is, is there a place? It, it, no, it, is it possible? Okay. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say so, but. No, okay, not a GPA, not, not, a, not a coordinate, but okay. we have where he is. Okay. So we have the earth. Right. And then we have the seven heavens. Above. Okay, okay. And then what's above that? Uh, yeah, you have the water, and then the last throne, and then Allah above the throne, right? Okay. Now, is this place a physical location? Is there? Do, do you believe? Do you believe that Satan is real? Sure. That's part of your religion, is it not? Sure. Okay. So can we see Satan? Well, some people say they can, but not in a physical manner yeah. because Satan isn't a physical thing. Satan is a spirit. So what we mean by this is that he's a, a yes, an intangible, like probably like like an incomprehensible being, so very similar to like a jinn, for example. Exactly. So right? there's a, there's a there's another world that we, we're unable to see. Something like that, right? Okay. But you believe that when we die, we are able to see that world? Potentially, yeah, sure. Okay. So, we're just, so like your soul, right? Okay. So that's, that's basically what God is. So okay. I can't say that he's, physic, that he's physical in a manner right now that I can see him right now. Okay. But he doesn't have any coordinates either because he lives no, in a plane of existence. You, know, okay. you, you have a description of the location, but is this somewhere that you can actually pinpoint in reality? Well, I can tell you what, yes, I can tell you. No, not in reality, it's not physical. Right? Okay, awesome. There's different words. There's that different world. that, that there's was the world point. That we can physically see. Sure, the unseen and the same. Sure. The world that we can physically interact with. We can't physically interact with, for example, Satan. We can't physically interact with the jinns, right? And that's why I can't give you the location or the coordinates of them. Okay, so that's why I wanted to arrive at. That's why I personally would not say, how can God be up there as a description and Christ be down here as a description? For, for us, so you had the location of God. Is, no, we had the location of the physical nature of, of God, which is fine. Because if he comes here as a man, then as part of being a man, you have to be physically based. But that does not mean. Well, yeah. Be physically dependent on your mother. Sure thing. So God has to be dependent on all that good stuff. Yes, that's fine. That's not a problem for us, right? Because all. No, no, it, it doesn't negate the fact that he's God. The reason being. That at all times, even when he was a baby, he still had the divine essence of God, meaning that he couldn't, for example, uh, have like fallen ill or died before he was to fulfill his mission, right? So you're telling me if Jesus' mother yep. abandoned him, yep. left him on the street, yep. he would survive? Yes, because God came here not to just like, like play around and say, okay, oh, well, that's what being a guy feels like. No, it's for a mission. And when God does something, but nothing can stop it. Yeah, so can I ask you You can't. Yes, you can. You'll, you'll die. You no, you can't. Without drinking. Dude. No, no, you'll you die. Die. I didn't say drinking. I said eating. Well, he didn't do any of that. It, we, we call it a dry fast. Huh? No, even death. Even death. Okay, you mean Every man dies. But don't forget, when the body of Christ dies, that does not mean that God dies. Because it's only a human nature of God. He is God. Because so the human body of Christ can die, right? Because that's what I can die. But then Christ, Christ the, act, the actual um, person of God, can never die because it's eternal. Does that mean I can't die? So, your body can certainly die, right? Now, can you... Can your soul die? Well, we, we, we will hold to this, right? The only person that can destroy a soul is God. Okay? And that's what potentially happens to people when they go to hell. Right? So, yeah. So what? Well, well that, that's what the Bible says, right? Well, not, not, not extinguishing of a soul, but that if you go to hell and that you are away from the presence of God who is in heaven, then your soul burns in... 
So you give me a location for God again? Huh? You just give me a location. No, but it's it's not a physical location. It's like a description of a place, right? No, no, that that's fine. If you if you're in hell, if you're in hell and God is in heaven, again, I don't know where these things are, right? And I will not say the location for it. It's a description. Every word that we use to describe God is only a description. That's all. I didn't give a location. I gave a description. I gave a description. That was all. I gave a description. For example, no, no, notice that I, I, I didn't point down and upwards. Where, where, where is your location? Uh, well, can you point, point the There is a word. Where is your location? I can tell you. I I guess I don't know. I know but I there is a word. You know what? I can bring you in a little if you want, but for now, I'm just going to clarify something with him and I'll come down to you, okay? A moment. Oh, where do you go? Do you want to uh, you wanna come back in or are you done? How does it. And they are giving a guess for having a location. Um, I, I bought it up beforehand. Like he doesn't have a location, right? Um, but he does, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, so he said, Look, like I mentioned heaven and hell. I've given God location. I'm like, no, really. The first where it talks about in the Quran where we call this God told him talking in the burning. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Surah. 2830 and Surah 2010. So when he was in that physical location, no, no, there is nothing called Surah 2830. Uh, mm -hmm. There is called name of Surah and chapter this, the okay. verse this. 20, 20, 2830 and Surah Yeah, 2830 and then 2010. Yeah. So when there is nothing is called uh, number two. There's even another one where where um uh um Musa no in the Quran Musa wanted to see Allah, so Allah said that I will appear behind the mountain. And if the mountain stays, then, 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 then you see me. And so what okay, happens so, when the mountain stays? No, no, if you can fall, if you can fall, you yeah, yeah. look at this mountain and it's time You're just still, repeating me. You're, You're repeating what I said. You're repeating what I said. You're repeating me. No, 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 I don't repeat you. Dude, I'm a million miles ahead of you. I already know what you're going to say. Don't worry about it. When you talk, you have to have a logic of this talk. I already said what was going to happen. So basically, Allah was physically there. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, because the mountain broke and, and Musa passed out. It's actually, he said, if he can fall on earth, yeah, then he can't be from that. Almighty that God, God, powerful. God. That the mountain even it cannot be forced to be shaken. But but and, and there's the, 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 the yeah. It doesn't say about the mountain. It it it, it does it does. Yeah. Yeah. Like a location or something. Yeah. This is after. This is after. No no no. After. Trust me. This is after from that point. This is after that. But before that, before that, I said, and Allah, He told him, You're not believing me. So that's what I would say to you. God can be on the post. Descends to the lowest heaven. Yeah. Then when he went in, is when he saw him. When Allah was in the house of Muhammad, no, again, what I said. Oh, yeah. God didn't worship Muhammad. Muhammad didn't visit this. Well, he, he did in, in the mirage. In, in the mirage, he did. If you believe in the mirage. Yeah. He was behind the. Well, he wasn't. He, he wasn't behind the veil. Like Allah has a veil, so the the veil isn't like a separate thing from Allah. And it's, what, go 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 read Sahih Muslim once in my age. Yeah. And then one day in heaven, he also showed himself in the middle of the with the veil. You know, remember your question. The question you asked if God can be in heaven. How's it going, by the way? I'm, I'm sorry, I had to go there. How's it going? Mansoor's been talking to that girl for like 10 hours. Yeah, like, like, like just make sure everything's okay. So we are now the Christian understanding. What do you think, the Father? What, what you yeah. So, Jesus my friend, Christ, any anything else? So, uh, I, we're almost arriving at the incarnation. Uh, what is Jesus Christ for, for you? From my perspective, yeah. 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 at the judgment, okay. Okay. Uh, when you say, "Oh, Jesus won't die," he has to uh, be. Yeah, the mission. Yeah. To me, it sounds like it's God's will that he will die. You know, like the That's divine true. nature. Of Jesus. So, so the, the, the divine nature that will, will uh, ensure. So, God's will is part of His nature, yeah. right? So, um, or uh, it's, it's like indistinguishable from his nature. So, if God has deemed that the Son of Man, so like the body of Christ, will come and die for the sins of the world, 
then nothing will stop that, including not when he goes to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights and eats and drinks nothing. Any human will die from that, unfortunately. Okay, but so he didn't. So I make the argument that he wasn't himself with the father's So, 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 uh, let me get to this point. When you have the person of Christ, right? What we hold is that in the person of Christ, you have both the human nature of Christ and the divine nature of Christ, right? Which are both like, like, in, not fully encompassed, but like, which are both like apparent in the person of Christ, right? Now, because God's will is essential to his nature the fact that for example jesus christ didn't sin that he never like like fell off a cliff or or broke his neck before he really reached 30 uh and and the fact that he knew so well about the scripture all of that we believe comes from the intermingling of the divine essence and the human essence okay from a muslim perspective yeah none of the pro none of the prophet sins from right ah. i don't agree with that because even in the in the oh, quran they they mean the so, so, in, in, so when, when you talk about a sin right it, it depends what, what you define as sin as simply going against god is a sin now like uh, no, take, no, no, taking no, no, the, the apple the, the uh, and, and eating it, oh, sorry, the, the fruit and then eating it, right? No, no, then that would mean that they're going to get the command anyway. that God no, gave. So as a result, him. it's not a mistake. It's a direct confrontation to the, 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 the will of God. So I would say that if anyone does anything that affronts God, mistake or otherwise, it's still a sin. However, a distinction that we can make, a distinction, is that there are sins of commission actively doing something that you're aware of is against the will of God. And there can be a sin of commission, uh, uh, sorry, of omission. When you do something that you didn't know, but, for example, you, you go like, you go like, step on, on, on an altar somewhere, right? By accident. It's a sin where your intention was not quite to destroy the altar. So even in the Quran, from my understanding, there are four instances where Jonah, Muhammad, Abraham, and Adam sinned. Who decreased that miracle life? He lied. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm not saying he killed a man. He killed a man, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go to Philip. That's not true. You're a boss? Oh, Jesus. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I live in Abuja, but yeah, I didn't really meet that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. David. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, but yeah, yeah, David. Yeah, yeah, I was David yeah. Of, uh, but I have like, like, like a last name. Uh, like, uh, I, I, I'm on camera, so I won't say, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know later. Yeah. But it's like, it's like a typical last name. Yeah. Well, what, what are you like? Like, like, uh, like uh, Muhammad or like uh, 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 okay. no, no, I, I, I didn't get a chance to hang around many other people when I was in. in yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I went to international. Well, I, I, I have to get a little bit.